Hey guys, today you are in for some extreme speed cleaning. I'm going to be deep cleaning throughout three days, mainly focusing on two of the bathrooms, spring cleaning the bathrooms, but also cleaning all over my house. So get ready for some super satisfying cleaning and tackling some gross cleaning tasks that I've been putting off for forever. And give me a thumbs up if you're ready to get up and get moving. No, this is not a clip from a couple of months ago. Yes, this is April, late April at that. And yes, we got five inches of snow this night. So insane. This was, I think, the most or the highest snowfall that we've gotten this late in April on record in Northwest Ohio where I live. So no, it's not February, it's April. And we are continuing on and doing the spring cleaning even though it's snowing outside. Um, I For the past couple of months, I've been picking one room in the house to focus on and really deep clean. Um, and then for, for this video, I'm focusing on the upstairs bathrooms. So this was the night before I was going to spring clean and I was just doing my nighttime picking things up off of the floor and the countertops putting things away and I know I, I always tend to start cleaning when I film in the living room in the kitchen but honestly those are the two areas that always get the messiest the areas that drive me crazy and put me in the worst mood when they're cluttered so this is the mess that you know typically happens when we're home all day just spending some time at home it was the end of the night and i just wanted to pick things up i was able to get started earlier earlier than normal because mike was upstairs putting the girls to bed typically i have avery help me but it was a crazy night she had basketball practice got home late still had homework to finish so mike was putting the twins to bed avery was in the shower and then he was going to get her started on her homework so that's what we were doing tonight. So like I said earlier in this video, I'm going to be deep cleaning two areas in my home in this video. So the two upstairs bathrooms. Mike this evening is um, going to remove our shower doors so I could truly deep clean them, get into all of the cracks and crevices of the shower, the door tracking, all of that. I'm also going to be cleaning drains, cleaning grout, walls, baseboards, like true deep cleaning in the bathrooms. And um, one other thing I was going to do tonight was clean up the basement because you guys are seeing this video on a Sunday and it was actually Avery's birthday on Friday. And she had a couple of friends over and then we're having um, my parents and Mike's parents and Mike's sister over um, on Sunday. So just a little family get together and we wanted to clean up the basement just so the house was clean. And you know when you get into that like mode of cleaning and you're just feeling good and you just keep moving. That's how I felt about the basement. I was like, oh, I wasn't going to clean it tonight, but I was just feeling it. I was like, I got to pop down there and get it quickly cleaned up. That way I can cross it off of my list and not have to worry about it before our family came over. So I've gotten a lot of message lately, messages lately, and you know I've always gotten these messages, and people will say, "I don't know how you have the motiva motivation to clean up at no night," or "I wish I could be like you, you know, be like you as a mom, or always have the motivation to work out or clean." And guys, please know, and this is so important. I want you to hear this. 
what you are seeing me do is not every single day or not every single night. This is one night a week. I do not clean up every single night. Sometimes my husband cleans up. Sometimes we just let it go and it doesn't clean. We try our best, but real life means you're not always going to get everything done. And so the other part is, you know, everyone's always saying like, how do you always have this energy and motivation to do it all? And I want you to know that I don't do it all. I don't do it alone. And I know I don't talk about it or show how m- much Mike does, but he does as much as I do. He works from home. We parent together. He cleans, I cleans, he cooks, I cook. He goes and gets groceries just like I do. I don't do it all myself. So this is how I would describe our relationship. There are some weeks where I give 80% and maybe because of how he's feeling, how his work schedule is, maybe it's a busy week for him work-wise he only gives 20 percent. but then you know what the next week it flips and he is always there to help you know like we're always there to like when the other one is feeling down the other one steps up when i'm not feeling good when i'm overwhelmed he steps in and does the things that i was planning on doing or vice versa i'm not here to praise him because i mean like i'm not here to say like oh kudos to mike because you know it's he's part of this he makes the messes um in the house it's his kids but we're we're we truly are a team and he is always there to fill in the gaps you know when i'm down and then when it's the same for him we just work together so i do not do all of this alone I'm not this perfect mom who works out all of the time and cleans and runs around and does all these activities with my kids. You guys, I want you to know that you are seeing just glimpses of my day either on Instagram or here on YouTube. The past three nights, I haven't folded any laundry because I was just too tired. Mike did it. He went and picked up the groceries this week and ran almost all of the errands for Avery's birthday, like putting in the cupcake orders and running to Party City to get a few things done. So I don't do it all. Um, I get overwhelmed just like you are. In fact, while um, I'm filming these voiceovers, it is super late at night because I have just been putting this off all, off all day just because I've been tired. I just haven't felt that motivation you know and I've been putting it off all day long and here it is 10 o'clock at night and I'm filming these voiceovers literally have accomplished nothing today but kept my kids alive which is huge so I'll step off my soapbox but you guys are doing the best you can I promise it keep up the good work So it was obviously the next day. Mike had removed the doors from the shower, um, the shower, the tracking the night before. And I was getting started on the shower in here just because I hate cleaning our shower. And I wanted to tackle the hardest part of the bathroom first because I wanted to get it off, get it out of my way, check it off the list. So I had planned on getting into all of those cracks and crevices and cleaning up um, every inch of the shower, even on top. And if you have one of the insert showers, like the white ones I don't even know like what they're technically called or baths make sure you're cleaning the top because they can get pretty dusty and dirty up there so I started out with my Bissell hand steamer to kind of break everything up in the tracking and then I was going to go in with the big guns so uh, I had this hand steamer to do a good job of kind of breaking all of the stuff up the crud and then I was going to go in with my drill attach cleaning drill attachments to really break everything up Oh, and I also wanted to clean out the drain in the shower. I like doing this periodically because this is what I find in there. Hair. Sorry for the gross clip, but hey, 
I bet you also have plenty of hair in your bath or shower too. I can't be the only one. So to clean, I was using a new cleaner just because I had found it randomly at Walmart and I feel like I can never find cleaning supplies in the store anymore. So I grabbed it when I found it. I think this was the only one there because I wanted to try something new because I was deep cleaning the shower. You guys know how much I love my Jaws foaming bathroom cleaner, but I wanted to try this and it is called Microban bathroom cleaner and it cleans um, and also disinfects and it's supposed to help stop the buildup of mold and mildew. So I just sprayed that. Then I was going to go in with my drill attachments. So these are the cleaning attachments that you attach to a power drill. And then I was going to use my Rubbermaid power scrubber. I was using all of the cleaning tools to get into the cracks and crevices. Um, and I will have both of these linked in the description. So I really, really love the Jaws foaming bathroom cleaner. That's typically what I use to clean in my bathroom because it's non-toxic. I like using non-toxic products, but today I just wanted something, you know, more hardcore since I was doing more deep cleaning. But the drill attachment that I was using, they come with a couple of different attachments. So you have this flat one and then I was also, or the flat one I was using on the walls. And then they also have the more rounded one that I was using in the the tracking and I obviously don't use all of these attachments every time I clean my shower but you know when you get um I don't know I'm sure I'm not the only one but you get soap or shampoo kind of stuck on to the shower um you have to like really 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 scrub yeah with these it just blast all of that like hardened shampoo or soap off of the shower so it makes deep cleaning really easy And then as soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna go to the top of the shower. It's crazy how dirty and dusty it was at the top, especially on the top of the shower tracking. It was pretty dirty. So I just used a wet cloth and wiped all of the dirt and dust away. We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be. When there's a problem, you become like cool. So I know I showed you guys earlier how we had gotten the snow the night before and that was just insane but I had it had almost completely melted by 5 p.m. the next day and then you guys are seeing this probably on Sunday or Monday well later I think Wednesday or Thursday it's going to be almost 80 degrees. I feel like here in the Midwest, we have crazy, crazy weather, um, but this is kind of like a typical spring for us. You know, like one day it'll be snowing, the next day it'll be 60 degrees, the next day it'll be 80 degrees. It's just how our springs are. But what I was doing here is just deep cleaning the shower doors, and I was using... Um, I was using the um, Rubbermaid power scrubber and the drill attachments to get into all of those corners and get all as much of the crud that I could out because so much stuff collects in the corners and that's why I like taking these shower doors off from time to time to really clean them. And then I was going to use the Rain-X glass cleaner. So it's a glass cleaner but also because it's Rain-X it also repels water from the glass doors and the glass cleaner is actually really good. Like I was kind 
kind of thinking that the glass cleaner wouldn't be as good because it's a Rain-X product and it would be more about repelling the water, but I highly recommend this. It's perfect for shower doors. So when I was done with the doors, I was going to focus on other parts of the bathroom and I wanted to clean from top to bottom. So I was dusting the lighting fixtures with my swiver duster. And I love this thing because it extends, like it folds out and extends. So it allows me to get into places that I normally wouldn't be able to reach since I'm pretty short, I'm five foot, four inches. And then I was going to clean the drain, drain thingy, whatever you call it, the stopper that's in the sink. It obviously gets pretty gross. And um, I was also going to clean Mike's, but his didn't come out very easily. Mine just lifts out, his does not. I did some research and it means like his is, it's supposed to be attached in the bottom of the sink. And so I was going to take, well, I had talked to Mike about it and we were gonna have to kind of take parts of the sink apart down below. I didn't have the time for it and typically he'll help me out when I like wanna clean stuff. Like you guys have seen him help me out and stuff. But he was downstairs with all three kids and he actually came up at one point to do it. But then we heard chaos from downstairs so he just went back downstairs to be with the kids. So we didn't have time. Um, he was with the kids so I just figured we'll get to it another time. I mean, there's sometimes you have it on your list, you wanna get things done, but you just can't do it all, I guess, sometimes. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine. But I get up. I know I talked about this earlier in the video, but I hate when you guys compare yourself to me. And I don't mean that I hate it and like, oh, I'm so miserable and I get mad when you guys compare yourself to me, but I just never want you guys to compare yourself to me and my life and what I get done or what you can't get done. Um, I will tell you, I have a lot of intrinsic motivation to clean or to work out because cleaning for me, it's something that I, I do enjoy and I'm just a happier person. I'm la less anxious when my house is clean. Same thing with working out. I always feel my mood is always lifted when I work out. So I don't, I mean, I'd always, for the most part, much rather lay on the couch than clean or to work out. But I know the benefits of how I feel afterwards. So that's what gets me up and moving. Um, Oh, and by the way, I'm wiping down my walls with Dawn dish soap and water. Um, it gets all of those water marks off of the wall. Do you guys ever get those water mark, like water drips on your wall in the bathroom? But anyways, I have the motivation internally to clean because when my house is messy, I'm in the worst mood ever. But there are days where I barely get anything done and I'm just in the worst mood. I think thing that I've noticed there is definitely a correlation to you know that time of the month and when I just don't have the motivation when I don't want to do things that's where you know like I said Mike will step in um and it's just you know some weeks I'm feeling it I get a lot done other weeks he is feeling it gets a lot done and so I don't know that's just that's how it goes so just don't compare yourself and just remember you're seeing a small glimpse of my life um I'm human too, and I just want you guys to know, I know you're trying your best, and even getting one tiny thing done in a day, you know, is a huge feat. So I forgot to mention this in the last video, but one of you guys caught it. <laughs> we got a new toilet seat. Um, I think in two videos ago, it was still dirty and stained, and like I said before, nothing 
got rid of the stain. Um, not a magic eraser, not bleach. Um, I tried so many products that you guys recommended. And so finally we got a new one. My kid ordered one and we got it. We replaced it. And I don't, it must've been when I was talking about something else and I just didn't mention it in the last video, but someone commented and said, oh, you know, I noticed that you got a new toilet seat. So it was so funny. Um, I love it when you guys notice those like little details that I don't necessarily talk about. I can tell you guys are really paying attention. So this hand steamer came with a couple of different attachments and this one is a grout cleaning attachment. It just kind of fits right on there to the top and then it fits perfectly in the grout lines. Pretty easy. And my grout doesn't really get too dirty. I mean, you guys know I'm like constantly cleaning my bathrooms, um, but also something grout can be different. So I've gotten a lot of people saying, you know, try this, try that. Well, I had talked to our tile flooring guy, the guy who laid the tile and he said you have to be careful with the type of grout we have because it's um it's sanded it's almost like gritty so it's not the same type of grout that you know you'll see maybe in a shower or you'll see in um, like a backsplash it's not the same so you can't just use any other grout cleaning method and i like the steamer because my grout's not too dirty but um, the steamer can help disinfect with the steam and it does clean light stains i mean if your grout is super super dirty it may not clean it um, but since my grout's not too dirty um, the steamer does a really good job and like i said it helps disinfect it So I know I've talked about this toilet so many times. Um, if you're new, this is not because we're dirty and we just let it go. Um, this is what happens in this toilet. It just doesn't get open very often. Um, and I noticed that in the winter, this is how it gets. And um, specifically, I think, because the weather has been so crazy. You know, one day, 60 degrees. The next day, five inches, five inches of snow. Therefore, it seems to be way worse than it has been all winter, I think because of the um, fluctuating temperatures. Something we have been trying to do, someone did suggest leaving the, um, the lid open. So we have been doing that, but because this is the bath, this is Avery's bathroom, um, she naturally shuts the toilet lid because of the twins. Like we're just all kind of programmed to shut it a lot just because the twins can get into it so um yeah so she didn't she hasn't been shutting it or keeping it open all of the time so we're trying but i know that once it gets warmer this problem will eventually go away but as i was cleaning i wanted to take this little water stopper whatever you call it i wanted to get that off i saw the two little screws and i was like hmm i've never taken this off i wonder how dirty it is underneath so just removed the screws got in there and there was definitely a lot of black crud under there that i was able to clean up So because this is the twins and Avery's bath, I wanted to use the Jaws cleaner to clean in here just because it's um, non-toxic. Um, you know, and I know that there was a lot of like gross stuff in there from that water drainy thing, like all of that black stuff. So after I cleaned it with the Jaws foaming bathroom cleaner, I then went in with a spray bottle of rubbing alcohol 
to disinfect. Like I just wanted to properly disinfect the tub after I cleaned it because they are not the same. So cleaned it, then disinfected um, with something that was a little bit or not as toxic um, as another disinfectant. Oh, and did you see Mike throwing up some cleaning cloths? I had yelled down to him, can you please throw up some cleaning cloths? You guys, he is the man behind the cleaning. He's always there to help me out, watch the girls or throw up cleaning cloths or, hey, I need the dishwasher or the garbage disposal taken apart or I need the appliances moved out. He's always there to kind of help me and support me with whatever I'm doing, all these crazy ideas and deep cleaning ideas. He's always there to assist me. I didn't do this in our bathroom just because our cabinets weren't that bad and I had just wiped them down like a week ago, but because this is the kid's bathroom, you know, there's toothpaste everywhere. So I used my Mrs. Meyers lavender multi-surface spray to wipe down all of the mess and then I was going to wipe down the baseboards and the doors as well. You, babe. And what I'm trying to say is you make the sky look blue even when it is gray, babe. Glowing in the dark, I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark, yeah, you're glowing in the dark. You're like a firefly. Guide me out of the woods now. Oh. That toilet was so gross. I'm sorry. But again, guys, it's not like gross toilet stuff. It is uh mold. like I don't know what it is. Um water that you know when you have water that kind of sits there, you get that. Like I guess is it mold? I don't know. Um but anyways, cleaned up the toilet and then I was going to vacuum and then I wanted to use this. I wanted to steam the toilet, which I did in the master bathroom too. You know, the outside of the toilet bowl, um, I'm sure if you have boys, maybe a little bit messier or dirtier, but still like the bottom of the toilet bowl, you know, doesn't get wiped down as much. And I just, I think the steamer just makes it super easy. And while I had it out, cause I was also going to um, clean the grout, just thought I'd give it a spray disinfect it, um, just make it easier to clean the whole toilet. You're growing in the
So here in a little bit, you're gonna see another day of cleaning. I'm also going to show you how I disinfect all of these cleaning tools and parts when I'm done using them. Time for you. I don't know why we couldn't work this out Because you know I tried the best I could I don't know how or what I could have done better Baby, I really tried the best I could I can't stop time for you for nothing and I did it all for you for you yeah we've been through this I'm not the one you need right now and I can't stop time for you I don't know why we couldn't work this out so something I wanted to share with you guys is how I disinfect my cleaning tools so I'll usually clean them with some Dawn dish soap and water. And then I go in and I'll either spray it with some bleach and water or some rubbing alcohol and water. I love bleach, but I kind of, I have a love hate relationship with bleach just because it stained, like my clothes have gotten stained. So rubbing alcohol iso or isopropyl alcohol is another good alternative to disinfect. And I always have that on hand because I use it for my DIY cleaner. So I'll just spray it um, really, really good, you know, here, um, on there, and then these tools. That way they are properly cleaned and disinfected. Um, and then I'll let them air dry so they can be used the next time. And I did it all for you, for you. Yeah, we've been through this, I'm not the one. Okay, so I know you guys, um, have seen me clean the twins room just like this pretty much every week i could probably just insert another clip from like last week of me doing the exact same thing cleaning up the exact same mess in here because it is literally the same messes in here but um at night when we go to bed we always bring the girls up we kind of do their nighttime routine i mean they don't have a strict routine they don't really need one necessarily we do read books and stuff like we'll get them changed lotion and then we read a book but um, we come up here and we just kind of corral them, you know, like put them in the bedroom. We Like all of us are in here. Like, so it's all five of us hanging out in the room, playing. The girls like to play. They make a mess. And you know what? Sometimes you just need to let your kids make a mess. And we just kind of sit there and relax before bedtime. But this mess probably happens multiple times throughout the week. Get on my way, get on my way, I don't need this right now, right now, right now. I hope I didn't sound too all over the place with this video. Like I said before, I was just not feeling the best as I was recording these voiceovers, really tired. Um, and I guess I'm going to blame it on that time of the month. D does your energy levels, like, do you notice how different they can be during that time of the month? I guess um, I'm always absolutely beat and just have zero energy, zero motivation, even to talk. So I hope I didn't sound too all, all over the place. I know I stumbled upon my words quite a bit, but hopefully it wasn't too bad. But I guess if you're still here, it didn't bother you too much. And you guys love me even on my low days. Um, but thanks for listening and sticking around. mistake I just hope that we're still okay you always pick me up and let me down we're spinning around losing our minds damned if we do damned if we don't damned if we give in what we want and I always pick you up and let you down we're spinning around losing our minds
I hope you guys are doing well. Um, you're likely seeing this on Sunday, maybe Monday. I hope you're having a good week. You're ready for the week ahead. Um, the positive thing for us is this time of the year. I know it can only get warmer with every week that goes by. It's usually pretty cool here until about mid to late May. Like usually by Memorial Day weekend, it is finally hot consistently and I am just ready for 80 degree weather like that's my idea like low 80s uh, no wind sunny uh it just sounds so amazing so I know that weather is almost here but I hope you guys have a wonderful week there's a party downtown really hope that you're coming by but you always pick me up the video thank you guys so much as always you guys mean the world to me um i can't say that enough so anyways that's that i'll see you guys next time bye